Hey guys, it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. This video is very exciting because it's how to prepare for the new year. 2020 is almost upon us, so it's time to get ready. New years are good for a fresh start. Just reset and get ready for the new year. So I have some things you should do to prepare. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments down below, and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And let's just jump right into this. The first thing you need to do to prepare for the new year is to come up with goals. I'm making a whole separate video on my 2020 goals, but you should create personal goals for you. You should sit down and brainstorm and come up with what you want to actually accomplish in the year. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about setting New Year's resolutions or New Year goals, and I think they're super important, but you must set them with intention. So sit down, brainstorm, come up with what you truly want to accomplish in the new year. Think about what you did achieve in 2019. Did you achieve the goals that you wanted to? Where did you fall short? Where did you succeed? And then refine and come up with what you want to do by the end of 2020. Think of your life a year from now, envision what you want to achieve and set goals that will help you get there. The next way to prepare for the new year is to clean. And when I mean clean, I mean clean everything. I always love starting the new year with a fresh clean start. So I try and clean just about everything in my house, make it look good as new. I like to go through my desk, clean out my desk. Definitely want to declutter my closet at the start of this year because I just have way too many clothes and I don't wear a ton of it. So definitely adding that to my to-do list. Another great thing to clean is your digital space. Clean up your social media accounts, go through and follow people who you're just not interested in anymore. Organize your desktop so it's all nice and clean and you can find everything. It's just such a good way to start the year, having a truly fresh, clean slate with your home life, with your digital life, with anything in your life. I don't know. I just think that's a great way to start the new year. The next way to prepare for 2020 is to get organized. And I mean this in like a planning sense, to-do list sense, get organized find some kind of paper option and some kind of digital option. I think that's the best way to do it. For me, I have my planner or my bullet journal. I haven't still decided what exactly I'm doing for 2020. I'm setting up a bullet journal, but I might also keep my day designer and use both or just use my bullet journal, but find whatever method works for you for planning. But I definitely suggest having something where you can physically write it down. For me, that helps me remember things way more and keeps me more on track than if I'm doing it on the computer. But also I think it's super important to have some kind of digital to-do list or digital calendar to keep yourself organized. I always add like any big important things I need to remember into my calendar on my phone. So it's like Apple calendar and it connects across all my devices. And I think this is super important because I will forget major things when they're happening or I will ask my boyfriend 9,000 times when a certain thing is happening and he gets annoyed. So now I just add it into my calendar the first time I hear about it, the first time I ask him and then it's all good to go and then I will also put it in my physical planner. To me, to-do lists are the most important thing. That is how I stay on track. So I use my notes app on my computer, on my phone a lot, especially because they sync through all my devices. So I will write to-do lists in there. And then a new thing that I found is, it's called Things 3. It's an app on like all Apple devices and this helps keep to-do lists. And I use this mainly for work just because I have a lot of different tasks for work and I need to make sure I remember to do them and certain things need to be done by certain dates. So this is the best app I found to do that. It's a little bit pricey for computer slash desktop, but I think it's like $5 for your phone. This has really helped me keep on track with all my work deadlines and it's just keep kept it all in one place. And you could like set different tabs so you can have a work tab, a personal tab, like a YouTube tab. I pretty much only use it for work, but I found it so, so, so helpful. Getting your finances in order is a super important thing to do at the beginning of the year. I've made this a priority for myself this year is to get my finances in order, set a budget for myself and stick to it. Everyone's budget is going to be different for them. So just go through your finances, break down how much you're paying in rent, how much you're paying in utilities, all your different things. And then also figure out how much you can be saving, how much you should limit your spending to. I know I need to be really on top of my finances now, now that I'm out of college and it's kind of on me. I wanna make saving a priority this year. So 
Really best time to look at your finances in the start of the year. Start with a fresh start in your bank account. Just go through everything and set different goals for yourself financially. Also, the start of the year is the best time to get all of your tax information together. The first is when most companies will send you your W-2s from the previous year. I know personally I need to call SDSU and get my W-2 from when I worked on campus sent to my new house. So if you didn't, like already call and have them forward it to the correct address. Call again, you can normally get another copy, but just make sure you get that information all together now or come end of March, beginning of April, you're gonna panic and you don't know where all your tax information is. I say just collect it all at the beginning of the year, even if you don't do anything with it until later in the year, make sure you have it all in one spot so when you do need to do your taxes, you're ready to go. Hello, Rosie, do you wanna be in the video? Yeah? You want to be in the video? Say hello. Sorry if you get distracted by the puppy in the background, but the next thing I wanted to talk about is morning and night routines. I think the beginning of the year is a good time to set your ideal morning and night routines. Think about what is the best way for you to wake up in the morning and what is the best way for you to wind down and go to bed. I have different habits I like to do in the morning and I like to do in the evening. In the morning, I like to try and wake up early. That's a really good way for me to start my day. If I can throw in a workout, awesome. That's always a good way to kind of boost my energy for the day and get me going. I also like to make my bed. This is just like an ingrained habit now. I honestly don't even think twice about it anymore because it's something I do every single day. And then some new habits I'm trying to incorporate are meditation. Um, and affirmations. I think that's a good way to start the day and like clear your head before your workday starts. And then also I like to journal in the morning, it's figure out what works best for you. What is your best morning routine? What's your ideal wake up time? What's your ideal time to eat breakfast? I don't know, all of these things are super important. And if you build a good morning routine, your life is going to be golden. Hand in hand with the morning routine is your night routine. For me, things I like to do in the evening are read. Um, I like to read, it just helps me wind down from the day. I try and stay off technology when possible, um, just because I know the blue light kind of messes with you and messes up with your sleep cycles. So I try and stay off technology, but sometimes I read on my iPad, but I make sure to like turn the the night shift on and I try and read with the black or dark mode on so that it is better for my eyes. I also tend to take my vitamins in the evening because I can't take them with my morning medicine. So again, whatever works for you if you take your vitamins in the morning, good. For me, I have to take them in the evening. And then I also like to write down my to-do list for the next day before I go to bed because it just lets me get all my thoughts down on paper of what I need to remember to do. So I'm not like laying in bed thinking of all the things that I have to do, if that makes sense. I just get it down all on paper so that I can just go to bed and not worry about forgetting something because I've already written it, writ bleh, because I've already written it down. Another great way to start the year is to read motivational or inspirational books. This is something I do every single year because it just sets my year off on a right foot and I have all different new ideas and inspiration in my life. My two top recommendations for books to read at the new year are Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. She's just a queen and the book is really good and gives you a lot of good kind of tips and steps to implement in your life. And then the other one is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. I'm pretty sure that's who it's by. Um, but I really like this book because it really emphasizes the importance of your daily habits and how little changes in your life can make a big difference. If you kind of need some motivation, those are my top two recommendations. I think I'm going to put together a full video and a full list of my favorite books, um, like motivation wise. So look for that or let me know if you're interested in that because I have a lot of good book recommendations that I think are really good to read at the start of the year to get you motivated and inspired. Those are all the things that I do to prepare for the new year. I hope these things help you get your new year started off right. I'm really excited for not just the start of a new year, but the start of a new decade like this video if you are also excited. Also, let me know any video ideas you'd like to see for the start of the year in 2020 in the comments down below. I'm always thinking of new ideas, but I also wanna know what you guys wanna see. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. I think that's it.